I'm not growing up. You look obviously looked up the street dudes. Yeah. I've heard you speak about how you had drugs in the house, which made you feel like it was indoctrinated, mm -hmm. even being caught up in the street life. Mm -hmm. And you were arrested for armed robbery and you got sent to prison. Now, that's been documented, of course, because of this Nas song, this One Love. Mm -hmm. It's the first time a lot of people heard the name Cormega. Mm -hmm. And you grew up with Nas, talked to him, window, y'all had window situation, right? Yeah, yeah, facts. Um, how did that moment in time with you being locked up? So when, when the Nas album came out, was you still locked up when the album came out? Of course, I'd yeah. have been on it. Right, okay, that makes sense. So, I'd have been on Lights a Bitch. Tell, tell me about that experience, like you being locked up at that time, because a lot of people think being locked up is the end of their life. Mm. But now it's like, it's like it's almost like you live in two lives, it seems like. All right, when I was locked up, I knew I was, it was on for me as soon as I hit the door because mm -hmm. the craziest thing happened to me back then. Mm -hmm. um, the people that really, really know hip hop, mm -hmm. like the DJ S and S's and mm -hmm. Lord Finesse, mm -hmm. Lost Pro, uh, Kid Capri, some of these guys, they knew about me before, before all of that. Mm -hmm. Like I was on Poet and Hot Days. Uh, hot Day, PhD. shout out to Hot Day. Wow. I was on hey, PhD she, album. Yeah. Hot Day doesn't give get enough props in terms of his impact it was in, in the culture coming from that side of things. Yeah, Hot Day was definitely early in the game yeah. on it. So I was on a PhD album and I was buzzing heavy. I opened up for Eric B and Rakim at the Apollo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. I had a buzz. So the people that, that's like I said, like you said, the gatekeeper, they try to suppress. Like, I hate Wikipedia because you could just change somebody's whole identity. Oh, they do that to me all the time. They got mad and said I was from Haiti. Remember that? Yeah. So, <laughs> it's like, why, why are you dissing Haitians? What the fuck is this? And, and being from Haiti, that's a that's an honorable, that, those are soldiers. Those I'm are like, true how soldiers. is that a diss? Yeah. That was, that was weird, weird old shit. <laughs> those guys could have freed us from slavery. That's right. Actually, they were on their way to help free us from slavery, but their money was stolen. That's yeah. how I know you read for real. Shout out to Black Jacobins. They were sending money to America. Yes, so, indeed. So, so we could fight a revolution against the oppressors. Yes, indeed. And the guy who stole their money, they actually named the college after him, but that's a whole nother episode. <laughs> Bill Clinton, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, so sometimes you, on Wikipedia, it's like mm -hmm. he got his interest. Like if the shout out gave me a whole career. Right. That's the whole, a shout out is a shout out. You saying a shout out gave me a career, it's almost like you're trying to ignore my impact. I've been in the game for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. I don't hear nobody else that got shout out on the album. Yeah, you got a shout out for a reason. You know I'm what sure saying? he wasn't the only dude in jail that he knew. Right. Like I said, before I went to jail, I was buzzing. Now, here's the craziest part. Mm -hmm. You know, Marley Marl was like Quincy Jones, a rap back then. Mm -hmm. He was Dr. Dre of the East Coast back mm -hmm. then. Yes. And guess who Marley came to Queensbridge to get? Me. Mm -hmm. I was in Marley's house recording my album. Mm -hmm. Only problem is I blew trial. Mm. If I didn't blow trial, when Lords of the Underground got their deal with Pendulum Records, mm -hmm. I would have had a deal. It would have been a, a, a package deal. It would have been Lords of the Underground and Cormega. Mm. I blew trial. If you listen to Poets, um, he had an album that came out after that. He said, rappers are lucky that my man Cormega is up north. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Prodigy's book, yeah. Prodigy's like, back in the days, Mega was better than all of us. Mm. So it's like, so when people try to act like a shout out created me, y'all just trying to dismiss the fact of who I was before that mm -hmm. or what I've done. So I just laugh at that. So the shout out was a blessing. That was my man shouting me out. Mm -hmm. He he wasn't shouting out Mega the rapper. He was shouting out his man that's in jail. Mm -hmm. Just like every rapper shouted me out. I mean, Little shouted me out in the song. Capone shouted me out. Trash shouted me out. Poet shouted me out. Nah, shouted me out. It, I was a popular dude in the hood, and I and I really rock with people, so mm -hmm. I got shout outs. Get it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow, go with it.